Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 5 of Graveyard Keeper. Picking up where we left off, we had just opened up the church, got the preacher perk, and created a prayer for faith. So let's see what we do. Well, we just got the pr casual prayer. It's in our inventory. You have to have this in your inventory to start praying. So we're going to start praying, and then we're going to use that. So it gives us, tells you what your church quality has to be. Your sermon requires that. And success chance is 100%. So here's our famous first words, spreading the word. Of course, it's may the force be with you. <laughs> so we picked up three faith. Prepare for your next ceremony. All right, so we've opened up a study table. We can gather old books, and we've got the perk Curious Mind. All right, so this is where you can start making, you know, every time people come, they will make, give you money. So it's very important that you come to your sermon every Sunday, right? So make sure you do that. Now, one of the things we need to do is we're going to come down in the basement. All right. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop off my sermon here. I'm going to drop off my faith. And I really don't need anything else. I do have some blood down here. So, oh, you know what? Let's go grab that stuff real quick because it's right outside. It's right out here. Boom. So we want the we want all the good stuff there. You want at least one, possibly two of everything here to study it because it might take you two attempts to get the studying completed. Just like with the farm, if it's in the trunk close by, you'll get credit for it. All right, so let's come over here. This should look familiar. Remember, this is that gate that the that snake was trying to get in. This is that area from our basement our cellar that we can get through and eventually once we can create beams we can clear this out and then we can have direct access between our house and here which makes it much quicker to walk through right so all right we got a we got some notes there and the notes will be important here we'll see those in just a second all right, we've chopped everything down. Same thing here. We need to be able to make beams, and this will get us a new area. All right, but we do have a study table. So what can we study? Well, we can study iron parts, but they take two science, and we don't have any. All right, so that's not going to work. So how do we get this? Well, you can study notes. So let's study. Let's decompose those. And we picked up four science points. So let's check the blood first. So remember we got faith from doing our sermon. It takes a faith. So you have to kind of pick and choose. But we'll study that and then we'll work at it. And we've studied our blood. And look at that. Boom. 20 points. All right. Let's go ahead and study uh, the fat. I don't think there's any right way or wrong way to do that. Now, this can be decomposed into a fluid. And we're going to study one more thing, only because that's all we've got. Let's study the fat. Or the flesh. And we picked up 60 science points. All right. So let's get out of here. We're going to store these back in there. And we will come upstairs and we have got to get over to the corpse. Oh no, he didn't just drop the corpse and leave. That must mean something, right? Let's talk to him. Remember, this is our comrade uh, donkey flying the red okay, colors. Okay. Oh, you're doing all right here. Okay, okay. Oh, so you own everything. 
You've acquired all this capital, you capitalist. A true capitalist. I cannot call you comrade any longer. Uh-oh, a little present just for you. Oh. Really? We did get 12 carrot seeds. That'll be important. Oh, Jerry says I'm a cleric now. Oh, hold on. So let's see. I have some questions. No, nope, nothing new. All right. Let's go ahead. Ooh, so we have three reds. So let's go ahead and take the blood. And the fat. And that should get us to four whites and one red. Or th uh, oh, we butchered it. Ooh, bummer. All right, well, it's still a plus one, right? I'm going to leave it there. I, I normally, I don't think I want to bury that body, you think? What do you guys think? All right, we'll drop him in there. We're going to need some more wood. We've got filch. We've got a ruined book. Um, oh, parts. Picked up some more carrots. Let's take a look at our technologies now. So we have these blues. We're up to 60 blues now. So we don't want to just spend willy nilly. Let's see what's going to make sense. Um, let's start over here. All right. So I think that's important. Less chance of making a mistake like I did with that particular corpse. Um, but I can't unlock that yet. Why not? No clue. All right. Well, I can't open that. Um, oh, hold on. That's actually nice. A double pallet. That could be important. Let's hold off on that. All right, let's see. I had made me a few notes here. Let me see if I can find them. All right, so just a couple of notes. So blood you'll be able to use in a speed potion. And speed potions, once you start making them, are going to end up being like crack. You'll get addicted to them. So hoard blood, take that out of everybody. Uh, fat can make candles and oils, low tier stuff, but you could just buy the oil from that guy in the tent just east of the village. It's pretty cheap. So just uh, extract one fat and delete the rest. Okay, I need to try that. So remove, removing bones can fix a surgical error potentially, but only do one so you can study it for the blue points, but don't worry about them the rest of the time. Um, only remove flesh, skin, and skull if you're going to be disposing of the corpse, preferably by cremation. Your alchemy opponents that you get from the organs, the brain and everything, can be outsourced and bought cheaply. So again, just get one of those. And all right, so I am looking to see. Okay, here's where I, this is what I want. Uh, first off, okay, we'll come back and work on this. All right. I'll see you guys in the morning. All right. So you saw it said saving in progress. Again, that's the only place you can save. All right. So I need 10 wood wedges. Right here. All right. So 10 of those. All right. I need two planks. Did I have those over here? I did not. All right, so two of these. All right, and four iron parts. I've got three. So we've got four iron parts there. 
All right, so that's what we need. So just a reminder, uh, 10 wedges, two planks, and four iron parts. And you've got to carry these with you because we're going somewhere and they will not, you won't be able to reach them from your, from where you're at. All right, what we're looking for is these, right now, these honey pots, and we'll gather those. Now, what's going to happen is the bees will sting us. All right, we took some damage, but we got a honey, and we need five of those. So we are going to take some damage. Damage does heal. All right, we're going to look at that. We haven't opened the apiary yet. I could do the bushes. All right, check this out. So we want to open this blockage, kind of like the cave-in down in the basement, right? But we have the ability to fix that, and it's open. All right, so let's keep an eye peeled here, because there's a few things. All right, first off, we're going to want to check this out. That's important. All right, there's another honeybee or hive. Now you will regain health when you sleep, so don't worry about that. We're going to unlock this fishing spot, but we don't have the fishing rod yet. Remember we talked to the guy at the lighthouse? So we're going to cross here, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come up the path to here. Not enough energy. Well, that's fine. We can fix that. I'm going to get up to 100%. All right, so I gathered three sets of that, and that'll be important. We'll talk about that in a minute. All right, next thing we want to do is come up and check this out. Oh, someone who can't breathe, and we're a graveyard keeper. I wonder what that means. Hmm. All right, then we have a quarry, so we can fix the quarry. We can also fix the stone deposit. Now this stone deposit drops large blocks of rock uh, that you have to uh, break down at your, um, at your house. All right, so we can build things out here now. So we fix that. We can build a stone cutter, which would be the easiest way, right? Because then we can store the cut stone in our inventory. Uh, stone stockpile just like at our house and iron and eventually we'll be able to build a smelter so you can see our little area here that we can build now what's cool about this is we can actually sleep here we can actually sleep here so that's good but I don't want um, and it might be a good idea to sleep because after dark when you're out and about uh, bats and uh, other critters will come out and attack you, right? So after dark, not a good time. Oh, you know what? Real quick, um, nature. Yes, we want to be able to gather the moths, right? All right, so. Okay, there's a moth. Another moth. Not many, not much in the way of moss here. There's one. All right, how many do I have? I needed five. All right, so since it's dark, we've unlocked the ability to do it. Let's catch all five. Oh, there's one. All right, that gave us five, so that's good. I'm going to go ahead and teleport back to, and see now we've opened the quarry so we can teleport directly here. All right, so let's drop off, um, I'm going to drop all the coal here. I'm going to keep the moths. I need two more honey, so we're going to mess around with that. Oh, let's get our compost working again. And 
you can see a lot of this just becomes repetition, right? It is what it is. Let's drop um, the waste. I think that's all we're really getting. Because we're replanting as fast as we get it, right? We got those 12 extra carrot seeds from the, uh, the donkey. So we're going to take advantage of that. Let's see. More waste. I'm going to go ahead and drop the food just to open up some area where I can grab stuff there. And I'll bring all that back to the house. Uh, beet seeds. I'm going to drop the flowers in there too. So, more waste. Good. And let's take the food with us. And make sure I don't have any seeds on me. All right, those are good. All right, let's drop some food off. So, boom, boom, boom. All right, we do have a little bit of power, so let's go ahead and let's make some flour here. Or, yeah, some, uh, some flour, that's correct. Taking the wheat, making flour. All right, we'll drop that in there. Um, I think I'm gonna leave the, no, I'm gonna keep the honey because I need that. And, all right, today's Quake Day. Who comes on Quake Day? It's the merchant. I've already given him the food, so I need five silver or ten silver to pay him off. I don't have that. So no sense to go see him today. All right. We're going to go ahead and chop these trees, so I'll be back when that's done. All right, don't forget to dig the stumps up. That way the trees will regrow. I've lined them up here on the road. Pretty good. Eh, all right, that's not bad. We'll fill this up. We'll try to work through the day today. Now, I don't know how often those uh, honey beehives, I don't know how often they repopulate. Let's see, can I? Nope, I haven't opened the big trees yet. And you can see I've cleared that out. Oh, I wanted to show you this down here. So down here we have these stumps. If we dig these up, we also get logs. Some of them, like these bigger ones like this, give you two. We'll just line them up there. And you don't have to get them all at one time. I don't think those grow into, into trees, but uh, they might. Not enough energy. Fair enough. All right, we did have that corpse, did we not? Yes, one body. Now, here's a tip. If you're getting backed up and you have other things you want to do, leave your body on the table. And as long as you don't have any more room, the donkey will not drop you off anymore. Of course, you don't get the uh, the burial certificate. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Let's see if I can actually build that yet. Hmm. I think that's a technology, yeah? Theology. Right here. Yes, let's unlock that. Awesome. So, let's build a place for burning corpses. You know what? I am going to drop him back off at the table. All right, let's go get 16 of these. So we'll go ahead and push these. Multitasking, you got to learn how to multitask. <laughs> now, when you're out of room, you can't drop, you can't leave anymore, but that's all right. Okay, I need wood billets. So eight. I want 16 of them. And you can see just eat a little bit. Boom. You get full. I'm going to need a little bit more energy. I know. 
So we bring those back now that we've unlocked the technology and we can build up to four. Now you have to build them. All right, now we built it. Let's go grit. Now see, we've got the tire debuff. But let's grab the corpse. It's got two red ones, so it's not what I consider high quality enough. Right? So we're going to drop it here. And we're going to set it on fire. And we'll let it burn overnight. It takes a little while. Remember, Jerry told us when he mentioned the cremation to us that it takes a little time to get it just right. All right, let's go ahead and call it an evening. And why don't we call that an episode? And you can, well, real quick, you can see that we are gaining our health back. So that's good. And guys, hit the like button. Let me know in the comments if you know what you think, if you like what you're seeing. Make sure you mention that to me. And uh, subscribe if you're new, and we will talk to you next time. Have a good one. Bye.